Hey, Vital MT Beers. The first World Cup of 2018 is on. We've had our raw videos get out there, super sick slow mo video. Now it's time to check out some line analysis from qualifying practice today. You may recognize this section from Vital Raw. It's a tricky off camber section with a bunch of lines at the beginning. You kind of go high or low. And there's an interesting exit option too. You can go over this pile of rocks or you can kind of swivel through the chicane. Total time from the riders we checked out was between 11, 11 and a half and 12 and a half seconds through here. So let's check out the fastest and the slowest that we captured today. Amari Perion was the fastest at about 11 and a half seconds. Marcelo Gutierrez was the slowest at about 12 and a half seconds. Now keep in mind, this is just practice. It's not qualifying. There's no racing. There's no points on the line. So Amari could have been fully pinned while Marcelo was cruising. But it's still interesting to check out what's going on. It seems like entrance speed here was pretty important in this section. Amari comes in pretty hot and he's able to stay up and to the inside, whereas Marcelo kind of takes the low, longer line. Amari gets to that tree considerably faster. Amari carries his speed across the off camber and gets to this corner first. And by the time it's all over, it's about a one second difference between Amari and Marcelo here. One thing we wanted to check out was whether or not going over the rock pile was any faster. So we started on Marie and Marcelo at the same point. Let's hit play and we'll see if there's any difference. There is a difference, but it's fairly close, but going around the rocks, in this case at least for Amari, was a smidge faster than Marcelo going over them. Now let's check out two riders who are pretty evenly matched, Aaron Gwynn and Danny Hart. Their line choices are a little bit different. Danny goes over the rocks at the end, and all the people I've talked to today commented on how smooth Aaron looked through this section. Both Danny and Aaron have phenomenal entrance speed into this section, and they carry about the same pace to this tree. It's virtually a tie so far. They smash their way through the off camber and end up at that left-hand corner at the same time. They rip the corner and get to the rock wall chicane at the same time. Now Danny goes over, Gwyn goes around. Up and over the wall versus around the corner seemed to be about the same speed, but it was that exit that looked trickier for Danny, slowing him down just a tick. Gwyn has the advantage. Off they go. Out of about the 15 riders that we timed today, there were seven that were all within the same couple of tenths in that 11 and a half second range. So for your curiosity, Amari Perion was fastest. Joe Smith of Norco Factory Racing just behind him. Thomas Stock, French rider, was third fastest through here. Unfortunately, he did not make the show today in qualifying. Aaron Gwynn was fourth. Eddie Masters, fifth. Danny Hart, sixth. And finally, Troy Brosnan. Again, they were all within a couple tenths of each other through this section, so pretty interesting to see just how close everyone is. Stay tuned to VitalMTB.com for everything World Cup mountain biking and tune in to RedBull.tv for the free live webcast.